All right, we have a new feature for our coronary calcium channel uh, with our moderator, Chris Brown, head of Chip CTO at Swedish. This is a new feature. We're going to call it, what are you, what, what you going to do? What are you going to do? <laughs> exactly. Case? What are you going to do about it? <laughs> Chris has a case on Monday. He's going to share it with Aiden and I. We're going to talk about kind of procedural strategies, and then we'll do a follow-up, and we can have commentary. And if you commented on the case, we can see who got who got it right, um, or maybe Chris got it. Right. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> um, but let's take a look, Chris. So you got a case on Monday. So, so let's start with the referral. Who referred this to you? You don't have to yeah, say so, the name, but like how to get. Yeah, one of our part, one of our partners referred this patient to us uh, from one of our other sites. Patient came in with an end semi, uh, got a diagnostic angiogram, was sent over for heart team evaluation, uh, CT surgery for cabbage versus complex PCI, uh, medical comorbidities sort of prohibited this person from having a uh, CT surgery as well as some other things, calcification, carotid disease, et cetera. Um, so can you guys can see my, uh, my angiogram? Uh, I cannot see it yet. There we go. All right. All right. Here we go. <clears throat> and what's so, the, is, give me a little background. How old, what's the LV function? Yeah. yeah. So late seventies LV function is actually low normal. So we'll say it's like 45, 48, something like that. So not perfect. Um, but you know, not massively reduced, doesn't have a huge amount of scar burden or anything. Uh, obviously, you know, has this calcified severe disease, proximal, right. Kind of lumpy bumpy all the way until you get to sort of the bottom of the crux there and then still has some disease in the pl system as well uh here's the cranial shot and then the pda has a lesion in it so you know probably gonna have to do some work there really the case where you wish you had a way to deliver drug therapy to the pda and not have to put a stent in i hate probably. those i hate those pdas man those like little gnarly nasty i don't want to put a two five stent in anybody if i can avoid it so yeah Okay, so um, nice big right. several pictures of this for some reason, but anyway, uh, and then this Ooh. is, the, you know, this is the money shot. So nasty grand. money shot, you got nasty left main bifurcation, still essentially osteo left main disease as well. So you have to do the whole thing. Um, this is one of those ones where 50% of the time, you know, the wire is going to go in the circ. You know that for sure, just based on the way the nodule in the left main is. The question becomes, is the wire going to go in the LAD easy or difficult? Because it's going to go around that nodule and it's got to go back up. And it's always a huge pain in the butt. And I sort of, I try these with normally, actually, I escalate very quickly from a reverse wire to a Xeon Black. And if a Xeon Black fails, then we move on to dual lumen catheters like Suzuki and other stuff. Um, you can try and reverse wire, but in this tight of a sort of bifurcation system, I think that's going to be hard. Uh, but that's going to be the, the the money of it. I mean, I think obviously there's a lot of calcium there and there's a big nodule. And so we're going to use lithotripsy for sure. Um, based Because of the way this bifurcation is, is I'm not sure we're going to feel comfortable using upfront atherectomy unless we absolutely have to, because I don't really love the way that this nodule sits. And I don't really think that the circ ostium is actually protected. I think it's actually pretty stenosed based on this picture as well. That is a very precarious location of that calcific nodule, you know, in the, in the left. So it looks like relatively preserved other vessels, frankly, you know, good enough. So it looks like the LED does have some, some mid disease just past that diag. And then there's some distal disease in the LAD. I yeah. think you're going to end up having to stent that LAD too. Yeah, he, he's going to get he's going to get metal from you know if you can see my cursor, he's going to get metal from the cursor, based on IVUS wherever that healthy landing zone is, all the way back. We'll see how this distal vessel looks once we plump everything up. Um, we may reveal ourselves even more lesions that we don't want to participate in. I think we're actually going to be able to provisionally treat this diagonal. Hopefully, I think the ostium of it's okay, and the diagonal itself probably has some disease, but it's not severely. Um, abnormal. And I think with lithotripsy or modification of this calcium here, we'll actually do okay. So we're mostly concerned about how many, what left main bifurcation strategy you guys going to give me, and then we'll stent, you know, some. All right, Rainey, yeah. this patient comes into Joe's, same yeah. scenario. What's the uh, Aiden Rainey strategy for this patient? You know, radial femoral support. What's your PCI strategy? What are you, what, what's she going to do? What are you going to do? Yeah, I'm not sure support's necessary here, but I, I, I would have a pretty low threshold based on hemodynamics, um, EDP, and kind of see how they're behaving on the table. Um, okay. I, I'd have you a pretty low with Are you going to go femoral? If you're not sure about support, are you going to start with femoral maybe? I'm going to get a CT first. I If they don't have one, um, almost every single person has a CT abdomen pelvis when they come, so I'll, I'll look for that first. And um, I would get a CT to just to know what the options are. And know, you know, even... In the worst case scenario, it's bailout. Um, yeah, I, I think it's super reasonable to go, you know, to go femoral here. And um, I love seven French. 
I think it really helps give you a lot of extra options. And uh, one question for you guys, you know, I, I tend to like to deal with the left main first. I think yeah. before going down and stenting that whole LED and all that kind of stuff, I think it makes sense just at, at a minimum, just get the, the left main taken care of. And then, you know, at the end, if everything looks great, not too much contrast, then go ahead and, you know, fix the other stuff that's easy. Uh, but you can always bring it back. Nothing in that, that LED is critical. Um, and then back to, you know, calcium strategy here. I think that Rota up front is not a bad idea, possibly even into the CERC to debulk that a little bit. Um, what are your guys' thoughts? Yeah, I mean, I think again, my my question, you know, is always how does the gear behave, right? And so my strategy for Rota is going to be: is it going to facilitate shockwave delivery in this patient? Am I going to need it? I, you probably won't. I think it'd be hard to shockwave into the circ with that nodule there. But um, but yeah, I mean, I think I would see how gear behaves if I if I put a Xion and a Corsair down there. And the Corsair is having trouble getting past that calcific nodule or into the LAD. I, I would rota. If it doesn't, I'd probably try to IVL this case. And again, I would just go. I would I would get imaging. I'd probably get an ultrasound of their their femorals. I would um, I would have a very low threshold to put an impella in this patient because I know I'm probably going to be causing profound ischemia in that left main if I IVL. Um, and then um, I'd go ahead and do a seven French through a companion sheath. I'd wire both branches and I would, like I said, if the gear behaves like it's not going through, I would rota first and then I would shockwave the shit out of that nodule. And I would, I would stent probably left, main, I'd probably sent left main LAD all the way down to the, the, the normal portion on Ivis. And then I would probably tap the cert because it's a very favorable angle for a tap. So that's, that's what I would do. And then I'd bring them back for the right at a later date. Yeah, I agree. I, I love the idea of tap here too. I mean, it just simplifies everything and I agree. I think the angle is pretty good for it. Yeah. Chris, All right. what do you Brown, what's your I'm strategy? Not, I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to do. Oh, you're not going <laughs> to tell us what you're going to do. I like no, it. I mean, we got to do it and then we're going to show it to you. So <laughs> to be determined. I love it. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, well, we'll yeah. see. We'll good. do a follow-up case. Chris is doing this case on Monday. So we'll do a follow-up um, and we can see how it went. Awesome. All right. Bye, guys.